Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be continuing our experiment with Unreal Engine 5.5 and DLSS 4. So this is going to be part two. Uh, in this video, we're going to be doing the same thing with DLSS, and we're going to be doing frame generation, but we're also going to be doing ray reconstruction. So here I am in the Liartis scene, King Arthur. If you want to check out this environment, it's amazing. And it's the perfect way to kind of demonstrate uh, ray reconstruction, in my opinion. So check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, a couple of disclaimers here. These metahumans have LODs just by default. So if you see them kind of getting ugly from far away, that's just a regular LODs. I didn't mess with that. Uh, speaking of the metahumans, all three of them have 16K textures on their faces. So they are cinematic quality balls to the wall. I mean, this is this is nuts. And right now, nothing is on. Everything is off. I have ray tracing off and kind of just walking around here. Uh, this guy eats a lot of donuts and his hair also grew a mass set. Um, pretty insane. All right, so let's get started and let's have some fun. I'm now going to go ahead and press H. I have the uh, NVIDIA UI here really nicely, neatly made. So I don't have to, you know, like... Just say I'm going to press J, whatever. No, we're going to show this now so you can kind of see what's going on. I will now toggle uh, toggle the RTX on. And automatically, you're going to notice we're getting a lot more bounces. You know, lights are a lot more softer. Shadows are a lot more softer. It's really nice. I have everything off right now. And currently, we're running at 28 frames per second. So I'm going to be focusing on this character here because we have a really amazing outfit that I got from the marketplace, I think for like 30 bucks. So these are, these are like low poly quality assets. Um, and But but at the same time, it has enough detail for me to kind of showcase what we're doing here. So I'll just kind of get him in frame here, kind of like that. And I'm going to try to not move the mouse a lot, but I'm sorry if I do. So I'll press H here and I'm just going to frame it so that I can use it for the thumbnail too. In Unreal Engine 5.5, in a post-process volume, I have global illumination and reflection set to high quality for maxed out. I'm using hardware ray tracing, hit bounce reflections, so maxed out. Cinematics, not even gameplay, everything maxed, right? Uh, I'm running as 4K with the Intel 12 series RTX 4090. All right, I'm gonna be trying this with my 5090 whenever it comes out, but for now, we're gonna have to deal with this. So this is gonna be our base which is off and we're getting about 20 frames per second. So I'll print screen this, go to my paint and I'm going to save this base off and I'll go back. I'm going to be doing a lot of alt tabbing here. So, you know, just mind you, I want to make sure that I can kind of keep the same framing for all of the settings that we're doing. All right. So as you all know, DLSS 4 consists of a couple of AI technologies. We're going to be focusing on DLSS or DLSS-SR, which is super resolution. Uh, we're going to be doing DLSS-RR, which is DLSS ray reconstruction and DLSS-FG, which is frame generation. Just a note so that I don't confuse you. DLSS FG frame generation is available for the RTX 4090. The DLSS MFG is available for the 5090. Okay, that's cleared out. So DLSS 4 is available on this graphics card. As you can see right here, it's supported. All right, so let's flip some switches here. I'm going to do, let's start with the bottom. So we have ultra performance here. This is the lowest quality of DLSS SR. Again, DLSS SR is basically just an upscaler. It upscales your image using AI, all right? If you're familiar with videography or photography, when you scale an image, it gets kind of crappy, right? But with AI, this is scaling it with AI. So it's actually improving it so it doesn't look too bad. But at the same time, as you can see, this here, and actually that belt looks really wrong the material sorry about that i just dragged and dropped this uh, armor here the belt loop um if i go ahead and screenshot this this is going to be our ultra performance now if you're looking for a chart i know somebody was like hey can you just instead of showing image and sharing uh the images can you just put it in the chart i'm like nah dude you're wrong channel like i'm here to show you what this looks like graphically and performance wise so here we go with dlss now let's go to performance all right Mind you, again, this is just strictly super scaling. We're not doing 
any generation of frames. You can see that right here, only says one. All right, so let me go ahead and paste this here. Let's go with balance again, which is my favorite. Okay, this is balance. I mean, it says it right there anyway, so I'm not trying to trick y'all. You can see it. Let's go with quality. Let's go back. All right, quick advertisement. If you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is actually play my Fortnite games. To play them, all you got to do is search in Fortnite and type in Warborn. Let's go DLAA. Now, DLAA is the deep learning anti-aliasing. This is the best quality out of the DLSS SRs. This is pretty much like TSR, the native, but it uses AI, all right? So we're getting about 22 frames per second right now with DLAA. So if you're like um, trying to render scenes and you want like a DLSS that's really good quality, you can try DLAA because that's the closest as far as quality to native TSR. Because if I go to off, like, bro, what? Like, I lose FPS when I turn it off, but when I turn on DLAA, it's like, okay, I don't visibly see anything. Just getting, getting like 22 frames per second. So now that we kind of cycled through the DLSS-SR, Let's talk about DLSS FG, which is frame generation. All right, so pay attention to this number right here. Right now, I have it at DLAA, 22 frames per second. Now, I'm going to say, let me go ahead and generate a frame out of that original frame. And obviously, it's going to double the FPS. Now, what I want you to take a look at is the visual quality of turning this on and off. Okay. I will print screen this and I will let you decide. Okay, save this as, and we're gonna do DLAA with frame gen. Let's go back. And again, it's on 2X right now. Whenever I'm all tab, it's gonna drop the FPS. That's why it went to 20. All right, let's now go to quality with frame generation. And again, as you can see here, we have two times on because we have the 4090, so we're getting about 65 frames per second. I'll print screen this. That's that. Let's go back and balance. All right? You're going to notice that I'm starting to get some frames per second back. All right? See, that's 75 now. Okay? So this is going to be performance. All right? Let's go with ultra performance now. And we get about 105, 107 frames per second. And like visually for me, yeah, this is this is like okay, I can finally tell. Like you can see in the chain mail with FG, you can see that in the chain mail area, it's it's not as sharp. It doesn't take, you know, like a genius to see that. It's it's the difference between DLAA. And ultra performance, yes, you can see it in this chess piece right here. It's slightly less sharp. All right. So that's the second technology that the LSS4 provides, right? So now what we're going to do. Now I want you to take a look at this image. All right. And I already took a screenshot of this with everything off. Because now what I want to compare this to is the highest quality possible with DLSS 4 using the third technology of ray reconstruction, All right? So the first thing we're going to do is enable DLAA. Boom. The next thing we're going to do is enable two times, like we were earlier. But now watch what happens when I turn on DLSS ray reconstruction. Now, just a reminder, DLSS ray reconstruction, technically, as far as I know, is a denoiser. It just denoises the image. But like I've noticed before, when I reviewed Cyberpunk 2077 update, whenever that came out last year, I told you like, this is more than just denoising the image, bro. This is actually applying sharpness. So you can see it. Turn this off. Turn it on. Okay, so now I'm going to print screen this. and save this because this is going to be DLA with FG and RR. This is the maximum quality right now that you can get 
with DLAA, Braver Construction, and two times FG. And again, I'm super curious to know whenever we get the 5090, I'm going to be doing the same exact thing. I'm going to be seeing the, the image. How does it look? And how much frame rate are we getting? So I'm going to go ahead and press H because, you know, it's, that's boring. Like sitting there, we actually need some motion here. So let's go around this guy. Mind you, this is again DLSS DLAA two times with ray reconstruction. All right. So this is your game walking around. Let's go check out some of these meta humans' faces. And one of the things that I noticed is that ray reconstruction definitely improved in the skin tone areas. Um, when they first came out, that you kind of saw a little bit of glowing, but you can see right here, dude. I'm running this at 42 frames per second. Okay, right. And and the frustrating part about this is a lot of people on YouTube right now. If you type in DLSS four, they're really talking down on DLSS four because mainly they don't really know what it is. They just saw a video online and this gamer just said DLSS is bad and everybody just kind of follows along. And that's why I always want to do my own testing. And it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really take a smart person to see what DLSS 4 is doing. It is bananas people it is insane and kind of before i go let me show you the, the noising portion of the dlss rr okay so i'll press h and i want you we're pixel peeping at this point so i'm going to turn everything off frame gen off we're going raw this is going to be like raw raw Raw, 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 raw. And you're going to see right here at the edge here. Again, we're pixel peeping. No, nobody does this in real life. All right. You see this little grainy area down here in the shadows. All right. Once I turn this on, that just cleans it up. Right. That just cleans it right up. Because that is, again, partly a denoiser. Craziness. And I haven't even touched... I haven't even touched, let me go ahead and put this to DLA. I haven't I haven't even touched the sharpness of this. Look at that. Some people, I know some people play like sharpness all the way up, but this is crazy. And for the sake of just fun, let me go ahead and do a balance with two times. All right. So I'm getting now 90 whatever frames per second. And I'll press H. So this is a DLSS balanced with two times frame generation and ray reconstruction. That's crazy. Now, right now, obviously, DLSS uh, RR, or ray reconstruction, is not perfect. Um, uh, according to my kind of test, I'm still doing some tests. According to some, my test right now, it doesn't do too well um, with water because it's water. It's very freaking hard to, I can't even imagine how, you know, it would calculate water. But, Whenever you use ray reconstruction right now, according to my test, not like scientifically, visually, it does blur it just a little bit whenever you're using ray reconstruction. So whenever you're thinking about using this in your game, if you have, or movies, if you have a lot of water in your game, it's, you know, and you don't want the water to be blurred, you might not want to use ray reconstruction. So it's not like a one size fit all in your projects. You're going to have to tweak the settings and see if ray reconstruction it's good for your project or not, right? But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for, for this video here. Uh, let me know in the comments below what y'all think after looking at the images. Because again, I don't want to, I don't want to sway you. I want you to take a look at the image and we'll discuss it in the comment section, uh, like always. That said, until then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.